Do you realize that you can have anything, any reality, any relationship, any amount of money, any business, any body, anything? I'm gonna break down how easy the process is of manifesting. It's so simple. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary, I'm a manifestation coach. And if you resonate with this message, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you would like to work together, that information's in the description box below for you, as well as the link to my meditation channel. Do you realize you can have anything you want? And not only can you have anything you want, you already have it. You already have it. And that's the funny thing because <laughs> the reason why you want it is because you already have it. Did you hear that? The reason you want it is because you already have it. Claim that. Can you please accept right here, right now, where you're sitting or standing or walking or whatever, wherever you are right now, understand that you have what you want and you have it now. Okay, so remember that the past, the present, and the future all exist simultaneously right now at the same time. There is no time, there is no distance, there is no separation. That is the illusion of physical reality. What you want is now, you have it now. Why do you think it is even possible for you to have instant manifestations, which people do get? It is because that potential, that reality, that desire exists here and now. And there are versions of you who have it, who are living it, who are calling you forth. And remember that this whole reality is an illusion. That's, there is no reality. Reality is your imagination. That's what Neville Goddard says, right? Reality is your imagination. Quantum physics tells us that too. There is no reality until you look at it, until you perceive it, until you place meaning or an assumption on it. Then reality exists. Then the wave of energy turns into particles. So what do you want it to be? It's done in the moment you say it's done. In the moment that you say, I want this thing, it's done. In the moment that you claim it as yours, you assume it to be true. You assume yourself to be who you want to be. You are that person. You've got to understand that that shift is instantaneous. If you could just know that and trust that and continue to make that choice with confidence, with conviction, that I am this. There is no other truth but that, which you say that you are. Know that this is truth. You don't have to know it all the time. You can have doubts. You can have... Uh, bad days, bad moods, limiting beliefs. That does not take away from the fact that it is done and it is yours. And even in the midst of all that, you can still choose to know that. And in the moment you have chosen, you are different. You're not the same person you were a second ago. In the moment you say, I am this thing or I have this thing or... It's done. You're literally a different person because you're literally on a different timeline. You're not the same person that you were. And listen to what Abraham Hicks has been telling us for years. What you want is done and it is in the vortex. And then they also say the vortex is not a place. It's a state of being. It's your state of being that matters. Everything you want is done and is in the vortex and the vortex is a state of being. Neville says, be in the state of the wish fulfilled. Same thing. You don't have to be thinking about it and feeling it all the time. Part of the state of the wish fulfilled is letting go, knowing it's done. If you knew what you want was done, wouldn't you let go? Wouldn't you not care so much? Because it's done. It's a done deal. Okay, I'm gonna give you five steps right now. This is all you need to know to manifest what you want. It's simple, just apply it and you will get what you want. Step number one is you have to accept that it's already done. Now, of course, you can manifest things without even thinking that it's already done, okay? Because I have in the past, but there was kind of a level of yeah, I know I'll get it eventually. So I kind of know it's done, right? But right now what I'm asking you to do is to just be more confident because this is gonna get you to that place 
where you can manifest things more easily, more effortlessly, just naturally, because that's who you really are. So we're bringing you back home to you, to who you really are as the I am, as source energy. So whatever you're gonna do, whatever processes or actions or whatever, first, I want you to accept that it is done. Know your power, know who you are. Even if it's in the background of like, yes, I know this is truth. You're already worthy of it. You're already deserving of it. No matter what is happening outside of you, you are always on the path. You're still on the path. This is on the path. This is still working out for me. This is benefiting me. No matter how it looks, no matter how it seems, it's done and this is on the path. Literally, you just affirming that, you just assuming that changes everything in your reality to be exactly what serves you, exactly on the path, gets you to where you wanna be faster. No, it's done. Accept that with confidence so that no matter what you're experiencing, you come back to that knowing that even if I have doubt and even if this shows up and even if that happens, doesn't matter because it's done. And I know that I am the I am. I am the creator. And affirm that whenever you need to. Number two is to let go of worrying because it's done, right? If you really knew that what you want was already done and on the way, like you're on the path of it, it's done, it's literally happening now, it's existing now, and you're on the, you're on the timeline of it, you accept it's done. Wouldn't you stop worrying about it? Wouldn't you stop trying to fix it? You never change anything or fix anything or anyone. You always just move to a parallel reality where things are different. There's a different story going, a different movie playing, you're a different person, they're different people, it's all different. But I've used the, this example a few times. If you won the lottery, the jackpot, for millions and millions of dollars, and you're set, you know you've won it, but you don't receive the money for like two to three weeks, right? So right now, maybe you don't even have any money to your name, but you know it's done. So don't you, wouldn't you show up to life with a different energy? Wouldn't you react less to things that would usually trigger you? Or, you know, if you can't pay for something, can't buy something, would you care? No. Are you sitting there trying to figure it out and trying to fix it and worrying about it? No, because it's done. So bring that same energy of like, okay, actually, anytime you go to worry about it, anytime you go to try and fix it or figure it out, realize again, it's done. It has been figured out. I can let this go. I can relax. I don't have to worry about this. Number three is to follow your moment to moment happiness. So in each and every moment, follow what feels best. Follow what feels better. Follow your happiness. No matter what happens, always reach for feeling a little bit better because now you're raising your vibration. And a lot of people will argue, especially with law of assumption, that you don't need to feel good and that you don't need to raise your vibration. But if you feel good and happy, you feel you're raising your vibration, you're gonna speed up that manifestation time just like 100%. 500% because you're being at your core vibration, your core frequency. Who you are at your core is already a match to everything you want. If you don't even have to try, right, to, to be a match. Just come back to your core vibration of who you are. So moment by moment, it's following what's the best feeling option right now. Out of all options that I can choose to do, or, you know, I can, I could go for a walk, I could get a coffee, um, I could meditate, I could work out, or I could read that book, or I could write that article. In any moment when there's a range of different options, what's the one that feels the best? What's the one that feels the most fun? Or would make me feel the happiest or the most satisfied? What's the best feeling option? Continue to follow the breadcrumbs. This is literally what I used to do back in the day just following what feels good, what feels good, what feels better, even what gives me relief, but following my happiness, it'll, it'll lead you to everything you want. Because if you're happy, you're only gonna get happy reflections in your life and your outer life doesn't exist. It's a projection, it's a reflection. So if you're happy, you're just gonna get happy stuff outside of you. And it's who you are. 
You want to be happy. You deserve to be happy. And following your happiness is going to heal your body, is going to change your life. Don't underestimate this and do more. Do more of what makes you feel like you, what lights you up. But again, it can just be moment by moment what feels best. What feels best? Follow the breadcrumbs. Number four is to take aligned or inspired action. So don't push away action or, um, you know, if, if your, your desire comes through a certain path or a product or whatever, who cares? You get what you want and you're getting it in the way that you can allow it to come in the moment. When you start to follow your happiness, when you start to feel better and feel good and you're, you're changing your state of being, even by just accepting it's done. If there is anything for you to do, you will be led to it. Okay, this is what you need to hear. If you're like, okay, I'm accepting that it's done or I know that it's done. What should I do though? Nothing. Do nothing. When you're asking that question, that's not the time to do anything. If there is something for you to do, you'll be led to it, especially if you're following your happiness. You're following what feels best in each moment, right? You're focused on your alignment, your state of alignment, state of being. If there is something for you to do, you'll be led to it. You will know it. You'll attract the process or the action or the person or the product. You'll attract it. So it's not like, oh, what should I do? And, and I need to figure this out. No, the path is already laid out for you. When you follow your happiness moment by moment, you will attract anything you need to do from that. So when action feels better than worse, when action feels good, when it feels like a good idea, take the action, no matter what that action is. For me, it feels better. It feels really good to take action in my business, in my work. If I don't, it doesn't feel right. It feels so unaligned. It feels good to create content, to create videos, to create courses and things like that. That feels good. That's good feeling inspired action. And I know what's, when it's inspired because I'm feeling good, then the idea comes or the impulse flows. Otherwise, if you're coming from a state of trying to fix, trying to figure it out, trying to force it, no. Drop it, know it's done, follow your happiness, go get feeling better, and then follow whatever ideas or impulses flow. There is nothing for you to do. There is nothing for you to fix, right? There's nothing for you to figure out. It's figured out. Get in that state of being where you're feeling better, you're clear-minded, and now you can receive any guidance, any steps that need to be taken. Otherwise, let go, it's done. Things can just come to you. I've experienced that so many times. and. You know, again, the, that aligned action could be to meditate or to go for a walk or to reach out to that friend. So just pay attention to your good feeling impulses. Five is to do any manifesting processes when it feels natural to do so. So the whole thing with manifestation is people are, are thinking that I got to make this happen. No, it's done. Accept that. Even in the moment, like you're feeling really good, you may be inspired to visualize or to affirm or to script. It may feel exciting. It may feel good to you. It may feel like the path of least resistance. So follow through. But with any manifesting process, there's no rules. There's no right or wrong of like how to do it. Some people literally will visualize once. I've done this. I've visualized once and then dropped it. Just not thought about it again. And I'm following my joy and it'll manifest in like a week. Sometimes it's like, okay, kind of want to visualize it every single day that feels best and I don't force it never force it and never even try to force the feeling of what you think you should feel if you're imagining something then imagine it and feel what comes up let it be natural do any process that you feel that resonates with you that calls you and do it when it feels natural to do it don't force anything because then you're in a state where you don't believe it and you're trying to fix it. Let go, like, let this be easy. You don't even need to do any manifesting processes. Like what I just listed is not even really processes. But the truth is that you don't need to do processes. Processes are permission slips for you to believe in what you want, for you to accept you're worthy of it, for you to allow yourself to, to receive what you want. So 
use whatever comes to you, you attract the right process for you and never force anything. This is about you feeling good. This is about you being in alignment and knowing your power and accepting that it's done. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to fix things. You, you don't have to worry anymore. It's done. When you believe, like when you really know, when you really know your power and you know who you are, you don't feel like you have to try and fix things and change things because you know it's done. You know things are on the path. They're working out for you. So if you can just let go a little bit, just let go a little bit more and go live life. Go be happy. You have constant guidance from your, your higher mind, your inner being. There's nothing for you to try and figure out here. Okay, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, let me know by commenting down below, giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. If you would like to work together, that information's in the description box below for you. Have an amazing day. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.